I like to say that the fuel is the blood of the aircraft and the, the fuel system and all of its workings are the veins. So you can't have a well working oiled machine without it. So without us, you can't fly. We're aircraft uh, fuel systems repair. We make repairs on the fuel system itself, whether that's changing valves out, pumps out, probes, fixing various fuel leaks that we get. If we have a leak or detect a leak within a cavity, then we will uh, take it out of the jet, we'll plate it up. You got it held? You got it held. Put uh, some air pressure through it to technical right. specs, and then we will either do a chemical test or we'll just do a bubble solution around it. You'll start seeing a bunch of bubbles just start popping really rapidly. Now, it was on the outside here. The reason why people don't really get to see much of what we do or where we go um, is because whenever we open that up, we can't have anything that produces a spark um, or anything that is not intrinsically safe. So we have to wear uh, Gore-Tex coveralls. It's pretty much a full jumpsuit and then a respirator that has cartridges on the side that uh, filter out you know, all the fumes that would be breathed in without the, the respirator. Today, I can definitely say I was in tank for probably five hours, I would say, straight. Um, but, you know, it, it just depends on the job that we're doing. Our team here at McDill designed a trailer that would pretty much uh, house everything that we need to be out on a job and not have to come back to the shop multiple times, you know, cutting down on maintenance time. And then also any type of weather that comes through, we're able to take shelter in the trailer and you stay out of the elements and so that we don't have to drive all the way back to the shop to stay out of them as well. It feels great, you know, working together, knowing that we can work together and, and, and figure out exactly what is wrong with this jet and then see the outcome that yes, we found exactly what was wrong and then now that jet is greened up and ready to fly again.